Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and welcome to week one of building a Venator. Now, in this episode, we go mainly over the layout, but before I talk about that, I want to announce uh, the series sponsor for this, which is going to be Clone Army Customs. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Clone Army Customs is going to be sponsoring the series. We're going to be using so loads of CAC. They're going to be sending me some stuff over. I'm very excited to be working with Tyler and the gang over there. Uh, Clone Army Customs, obviously, has been a product I've been endorsing for years now, uh, so obviously, it's very exciting to be working and partnering with them. Um, so yeah, so the main thing we're going to be working on is to lay the layout. Uh, so we're going to kind of be drafting what it's going to look like, the format of the mock, uh, kind of explain a bit of where my thought process is for how this is going to look. Uh, obviously, for those who don't know, this is going to be the interior section of the Venator in the, uh, you know, supremacy game mode in Battlefront 2. Um, so it's going to have that center ramp, and it's going to, you know, be all that really cool stuff, and it's going to be absolutely epic. I'm really, really excited about it. And yeah, so the plan for this, it's going to take as long as I need. I don't exactly have a deadline, but I'd like to probably get it done within 10 weeks. Uh, you know, it might be more, it might be less. Um, the main thing I am going to be doing is, you know, brick link orders and that sort of stuff. It's just going to be kind of hard to calculate that. And it's a learning process. This is like the first mock I really want to make a uber detailed mock. And I'm also going to be reaching out from people from my lug, stud lug. So if you are not subscribed to that, you should totally check it out. We do weekly mocks um, where we'll feature a member's mock, and that's really, really great. And, you know, please check it out. We're so close to, like, 700 subs. Just, it would be awesome and help me out a ton. And, yeah, so with that said, I think it's fair to say we could get right on into the mock. Okay, guys, so I have written up a bit of a plan, at least for the layout of how we're going to do the Venator interior mock. Uh, so right up here, I have a picture pulled up basically of this angle. And what I want to accomplish today is uh, laying it out and getting a bit of a feel for what it's going to look like. Uh, now, the plan, the plan is, first off, to, you know, get the base layers down get the walls up, detail them, and then after that we could basically place down all the crates in there and do all that fun stuff, and the main thing I would really like to get done is all the, you know, details on the wall and all that stuff. Now when it comes to, you know, the details, we're going to have to do a lot of special building techniques, and I'm going to really try to uh, get as many people as possible, I'll confer with many mock builders and my lugs, stud lugs, so you could check that out, um, about, you know, what I should do for certain designs. Uh, because, you know, the, the, the things are kind of spread out everywhere, as you can see. And basically here, I'll, I'll explain the plan. So it's going to be four base splits, uh, which, which I think is a fair amount. Uh, this is this is like a little like ground area. You're gonna have a few crates or whatever up here. This is basically when you enter this room, and you're gonna have the little ramp here. You could have like all the defenses and stuff up here. You're gonna have more crates back here, and uh, you know you're gonna have the ramp. Now the thing I want to accomplish with the ramp is I want minifigures to be able to run down it, and I'm not sure if I want to do like a brick built like ramp like with a, like the, with like the slope pieces, or if I want to do like a giant base plate type type thing. Now, another thing I'd actually like to achieve is to make this, obviously, two layers. It has to, uh, you know, be a little tall. So it's going to be a, about, like, this tall in the bottom half, and then, you know, you'd have another entire section up, up top. And, you know, obviously, I think if I can, I'd like to have a little back room. And then even if I could lift up this area and have, like, a special Easter egg room, which I think would be pretty fun. Uh, but, yeah, so it's kind of going to be like you're going to have the sniper's windows up top, and then this is going to be that hallway that's upstairs. You'd have some droids running up it, or, you know, it'll, it'll be a mess. It's Battlefront, so you'd have pretty much any clones you want uh, running throughout, which will be great. I'll try to keep them within the same, like, design, and I'll try to make them all, like, legit LEGO clones. Uh, but, yeah, I, I really like that, and I'm going to go try to work on some layout options. Maybe I'll actually do a time lapse, so let's go do that now. Okay, guys, so I know this doesn't look like a lot, but I think it does draw a good picture for what I want to capture. Now, this map is a kind of difficult to just explain, like, with words. Like, you kind of have to see it. Um, but here, here is how it's going to work, and I've explained the layout a bit. Uh, so this is the ramp. Nothing's really going to be under that. That's just going to be a, probably some sort of base plate type build. Um, it's going to be a decent size because it is a decent size on the official map. Now, under the ramp, I completely forgot about this uh, when I was thinking about it. There are those little, like, areas where the clones can run through. Uh, I don't even know what to describe them as. Um, but there's basically, like, this area, the ramp, and then you go up above, so there's the bridge on top, 
and there's this area under here, I guess, for more storage or whatever, and that is what I am going to use that for. So that's going to go there, and then the Easter eggs, I guess, will go in the back wall, which there's going to be, like, two separate rooms in there, uh, and yeah. So then over here, we're going, where, where this brick is, this thin one here, that's going to be where the door is. I thought that was a nice size. We're going to make that a nice gray tiled out door. Um, that's going to look very good. And then if you move over, oops, and we're going to move over here, and... You know, I think that gives you a pretty good picture, and it makes it feel sizable. Now, this isn't going to be 100% accurate. It's not going to be, like, entirely accurate just because I don't have the capacity to do that, and I can't even do the side hangers or anything, so it's not like I'm going to need any ships uh, for this in particular, but I'm very excited. And, you know, I haven't seen many people do a mock. I think my friend Spartan Republic might have done this one. Um, I'll have to check. Um, but I'm very excited to get started. Uh, so, now, the plan, I think, is I want to work a bit on some of the build. So that will be the subject for next video, is getting started with the build, getting everything in that department started, and that's, you know, obviously very exciting. But we do have the layout ready, we have a plan I'm very, very happy about, and I want to know what you guys think. What should I do uh, in terms of this? Is there anything I should change to the plan? Uh, you know, I really like it, and again, with if anyone's sending figures in fan mail, I'm going to try my best to fit them in the mock somehow, you know, clone troopers or what have you. Um, but yeah, it's all very exciting. I'm really excited to get started, and it's looking good. Um, the, now, the thing I'm obviously going to have problems with is the special details, uh, but we'll cross that bridge when the time comes. And, you know, if we need to add a little extension, we can always. I'm not too concerned about that, uh, but just not a huge one. And hopefully, I can bring this to Brick Fair, New Jersey. That, that's the hope. Okay, guys, so that is the plan. Now, next week, the plan is I'd like to, you know, bulk it up a little bit, and on top of that, I'd like to start, you know, planning what kind of things we're going to be needing. You know, what kind of thing bricks we're going to be using, and hopefully we'll be ordering those and getting that all situated. And, you know, that should be pretty exciting. And also like to work on the doorways, uh, you know, for the back, which would be nice. I think if we work on the back and move our way forward, uh, that would be good. And I'm going to be going over a little bit on details, but not too much. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. But with that said, uh, thank you again to Clone Customs for sponsoring the series. I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.